previously on Kai Green Redemption. I remember getting there and I'm thinking, oh, okay, this isn't going to be bad. You know, he's, he's getting ready for the Arnold Classic. He's tired. You know, we're, this is going to be short. In order to try to be mindful of showing the sweep on your quads, you're going to turn your knees out, but you can't turn your knees out without trying to turn your feet out. A lot of bodybuilders talk about tensing from the floor up. We get downstairs and we're like going through the training. I'm just like, why are we doing all these things back to back? And then it all makes sense. Kai Green Redemption is brought to you by MuscleMed's Performance Technologies, makers of Methylburn Extreme. Get ripped, get shredded, get super peeled with Methylburn Extreme. Now available at the bodybuilding.com muscle med store. He's able to tap into whatever he's feeling and he puts it out into his work. And that is inspiring to me. I think he gives uh, bodybuilders a, a bit more of a dimension than just eating, sleeping, and training. Kai Green is, without a doubt, most entertaining and original bodybuilder that I've ever seen. Whether it's his rags to riches story, his humble demeanor, posing, or mind-blowing physique, Kai Green is impossible to ignore. I loved him before. I loved him before he won the Arnold Classic. I loved him a while ago. Kai Green, I'm a big fan of his because, because of the way he started. You know, he started from nothing. He had zero, I was reading that he was raised in a foster home, and he still managed to make it to the top. Kai did indeed start from nothing. Adrift in the foster care system as a youth, nearly illiterate into his late teens, Kai eventually learned how to read, and it wasn't long before he began to discover the power of positive thinking that he now speaks about so often. It was evident to me from the first time we met that he was very spiritual, and very philosophical, though at the time I was unaware of the origins of his philosophy. This whole game is about being, being a champion of mine. And then when I went to Las Vegas to visit Kai and Oscar, there were some of the same concepts and phrases coming out of the speakers of the car as we listened to audiobooks while driving back and forth to the gym. And we can get what we want to have and can become what we want to be. I began to get a sense that Kai was tapping into a philosophy of which I was as yet unaware. He seemed to be operating by principles that empowered him, but were mysterious to me. I began to ask around and finally got a few answers from a colleague of mine who had seen my overkill footage and recognized the audio that had been playing in the car. There are a lot of uh, teachers, There's a, there are a lot of authors out there who talk about how to create your own reality. There was a great movie called The Secret a few years ago that talks about this very thing. The moment that you decide, decision changes everything. What you think about grows. What you focus on grows. You create your own reality. As I saw in Las Vegas, Kai is deeply immersed in this power of the mind philosophy. The principles of positive thought are nothing new. The Secret is only the latest in a long line of books and movies about this topic. Two of the most famous early books on the subject are The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles and As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. This philosophy was then built upon by other authors like Napoleon Hill, seen here in a film from the early 1960s in which he describes his key to success. Psychologists have discovered a natural law which is the very foundation of all personal successes. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Isn't that a profound statement? Kai's true fans understand, but not everyone gets what Kai is talking about. These concepts, though they seem simple, sometimes take repeated exposure before sinking in. There's some things that I think that I've read at other times in my life that I really wasn't ready to read. So as a result, I could say or boast later on, yeah, I read that, you know. And at the same time, though, dismiss it as I don't need to re-explore that. I don't need to even really think about that. And the ideas that it contains, probably for me, just don't really have much merit. Not realizing that that's what I'm doing. It may take continually 
re-exposing yourself to that idea and those groups of ideas and then exposing yourself to it again and then meditating on it again and again. It may require some work on your part to understand it because you may hear this and think, what are you talking about success? Man, listen, you know, success before it happens? Oh, that's, that's blasphemy. Some people probably, you know, another time would probably want to hang you on a cross or something or burn you at a stake, you know. What are you trying to predict the future, you know? But I believe you can predict the future. You know, you can predict the future if you're saying that, hey, in this moment, I'm going to do what I am supposed to do. And what I'm supposed to do is determined by what my goals are. Fans of the sport are comfortable with their favorite athletes talking about training and food. But many get frustrated with the audacity of a bodybuilder spouting philosophy. He's basically saying, you know, if you're not achieving what you want to achieve, that's on you. And you know, for some people to hear that, it's, that's tough for anyone to hear. He is standing up for what he believes is right. And it's obviously working for him. I mean, look, he's not trying to sell anybody anything. He's just sharing his experience. And he happens to be on a big stage, figuratively and literally. And he's using that stage to share his good fortune. And he wants to help other people. Now, I'm not going to try to say that I know how to explain a whole bunch of metaphysical blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I am a believer. I am a believer that you know, we shape and create the life that we choose. And I believe that our, you know, the tools that we have to do that um, is our mind. I'm beginning to understand that this power of the mind philosophy is not just wishful thinking and not just for bodybuilders. It's for anyone who wants to achieve anything in life. I read some of the books and find myself watching with more interest as Kai and Oscar apply these principles to winning this upcoming competition. Kai Green Redemption is made possible by MuscleMed, the makers of Code Red. Code Red combines a clinically proven dosage of the pharmaceutically modified compound glycocarn with powerful anabolic agents, ergogenic optimizers, and ROS neutralizers to make the most scientifically superior bodybuilding supplement you can buy. Before you step into the gym, prepare your body for the best workout ever with Code Red. Code Red and a full line of MuscleMed supplements are available now at the Bodybuilding.com store.